Today I will show you how I set up my African clawed frogs tank. This setup is also suitable for other aquatic frogs like the Suriname toad or also African dwarf frogs. For my three African clawed frogs I will use this 100 liter tank and first of all the substrate as you can see I use an artificial gravel which has a diameter of about around to 2 millimeters mixed with sand. It is very important that you use gravel with a very low diameter or sand because the frogs will probably swallow some of the substrate when eating and if the substrate is too big it can get stuck in the digestive tract. You should provide many hidings, at least one hiding place per frog. And yeah, you can use many different things as hiding places. For example, you can buy artificial caves, artificial hidings, pet stores like these here. Just put them here. But, of course, you can also build some hidings by using aquarium roots or stones. But if you build a cave in that way, you of course have to make sure that the stones cannot fall down onto the frogs, that you build a very stable thing, otherwise the frogs could be hurt. So I'll use a stone plate which I put on these two things here. Next to a few hiding places it's very important that you put in many plants into the tank. These are the plants that I had in this tank before. Oh, there's a frog. Um, yeah, it's Java Farm and some kind java fan is this here i got also with these yeah, i don't know feathered tops here and this is some kind of horn rod this is another species of horn rod Yeah, African clawed frogs love densely planted tanks, so I will put many plants in this tank. So now I'll put in the plants and afterwards the frogs can already move in because I used the old water which I had in this tank before. Otherwise you should let the water settle for a few weeks or so. And if necessary you should also use some treatments. So some general information about my frogs. The water temperature should vary between 21 and 26 degrees Celsius. It should not be cooler and there should not be too much movement in the water. So make sure that if you use a filter and pump that this won't produce much flow in the tank. As food I mostly use earthworms and sometimes also tiny pieces of chicken heart and freshwater fish and for the young frogs I use frozen bloodworms, tube effects and stuff like this. So these are my three clawed frogs. These two on the left are albino African clawed frogs, Xenopus labus. And this tiny guy, the dark grey one, is another species of Xenopus, but I'm not really sure which species it is. It's an adult female, so you can see the big size difference in the two species. I have kept it for about 
six months already together with these two and there were no problems so it will stay in this tank all right so now the tank is finished and the frogs can move in Another important thing is that you provide some places where the frogs can easily breathe directly at the water surface. For this I use swimming plants like this hornrod which swim directly under the water surface. The frogs can easily rest in these plants without having to actively swim to the surface all the time. This one here is the adult male and this here is the female. You can see the big cloaca. If you want to know how to sex African clawed frogs, you can check this video which I will link here. I always put in a few snails in my tanks, first because the frogs really like to eat some snails from time to time and second snails help to keep the tank clean as they eat food remains and the frogs feces and also dead plant material. I hope you like this setup and if you have any questions left feel free to ask in the comments. See you next time.